Okay, good morning, Anto. Hello, are man. you ready for another round of um, um, pugilistic right, poetry? Right and ready. Let's let's bring it on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is uh, our inspiration. It's um, a series of poems by Ernest Fares on paintings by Edward Hopper. And uh, this is a translation of his poems into English by Benuti. From Catalan. From Catalan into, into English. English. And both Anthony and I have done our own translations of this poem. And we have not looked at... And we haven't looked at Lawrence Benuti's translation. Prize-winning translation. Prize-winning, as you so often like to remind us. And the poem we're looking at today is, uh, especially chosen by Anthony, well, called Gurley Show, yes. 1941. Yes. Okay, so uh, who's going first? You're on, right? Good. Me first? You first. Go. All right. Girly Show, 1941. Portentous is the line of beauty, enough to make us all go mad. It causes us to lose control, upsets our flight to the southern seas, brings bouquets tumbling down and honour and the Tractatus Logico-Philosophicus and disturbs the planned unfolding of the day's activities. It happens to us with a painting, Girly Show, for instance, with a poem, this one, and even with daring evening skies or with a youthful maenad redhead who, before a bunch of Silene satyrs and fauns, smoking and drinking their heads full of Dionysius, gradually strips in time with the music. All the same, ugliness is more talented ever since it learnt, you'll like this one, to get in through our right eye transfigured in filigree, adorned with brooches or strands of silk or dressing up with the symbols and decorum of beauty itself. So true. It's darkness that passes itself off as light, as chaste as a ring. It's vulgarity that joins us in a network of complicities. It's rabble-rousing, presenting itself as a patent panacea. It's the rats with angel faces. Will it be the youthful Maynard Redhead, before a bunch of Silene satyrs and fauns smoking and drinking, their heads full of bold Dionysius, who gradually strips in time with the music? It's striptease, mil no sense, quaranto. How hugely cunning is the beauty that sends us mad, that makes us lose control, interferes in our escapes to southern seas, that brings to ground bouquets, our honour, and the Tractatus Logico Philosophicus and perturbs the unfolding of the things we do each day. You know, it, it, it works through a painting, girly show, for example, or a poem, this one. It works with the flourishing evening skies, or with a young, red-head menad, dancing in front of woodland gods, satyrs and fauns who smoke and drink, and with audacious Dionysus at the head, undresses to a rhythmic beat. But then, more cunning is her ugliness, since she learned, here's the rub, to enter through our right eye, transfigured as filigree, garnished with brooches and strips of silk, disguised in the symbolics of decorum or beauty, to the hilt, her deep darkness pretends to be light as pure and chaste as a lamb. Her vulgarity clings to us through a nexus of complicities. Its demagogy imposes itself as if a panacea. These are rats with angels' faces. For do you really think it's a young redhead menad? dancing in front of woodland gods, satyrs and fauns who smoke and drink, who, with audacious Dionysus at their head, undresses to a rhythmic beat.
Well, Anto, as is becoming habitual... I made a mistake. No, 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 no. I, I, I you're me. really... Um, you get hold of this poetry and you make it your own. Whereas um, I'm a little bit more modest in my manipulations. You're more with the text, I think. Oh, are you reading the translation? Yes, it's in the translation. And, I, and so I think that actually uh, yours becomes a better poem. I mean, plus the fact that when you read it, you perform it more convincingly than I do. Um, whereas I think... I don't know, if somebody wanted to understand the Catalan, uh, follow the Catalan, maybe my rather more mundane translations would do that job better. But this I, is, I, this I, is, this I, is I, our I, dilemma, isn't it? Make the point that when there's something Catalan in the text, I go for it. Yeah. But in this particular text, it's not, there's nothing identified with Catalan. Right. Uh, I think so. So I made some changes. One thing that bothered me were the Greek names. Yeah which I don't think are recognized by most of our readers. Yeah. You have Menard, yeah. Bacante, Bacante. Yeah. But, but you used, oh, I had, there was one, um, God, yes, Well, yes, no, the, um, Silini. Silini, Silini yeah. Silini, that's a real. Did people recognize that? No, they didn't. Um, so, sorry, I, I did a lot Silence of... Silence in Catalan, I don't think they'd recognize it in Catalan, to be honest. No, and if you yeah. do your homework on mythology, it's actually quite difficult working out the difference between a follower of Silenus and a satyr, because the satyrs were the followers of Silenus. Right. I wondered, though, if Silence, comma, satyrs, if, satyrs, if mm. um, uh, the Silenus, and these are subcategories of it. All right. Which would explain oh, so those, those, why I picked yes. up woodland creatures. No, or no, something no, like no that. woodland mm. gods, I think. Didn't woodland you? gods. I okay. thought that was... I thought that was or really woodland good. demigods. Very good, yeah. Something. So you went for... You, you, good. So you took Silene, Sileni as a sort of generic term, and then satires and forms as the sort of more uh, detailed version of that. Uh, yes and no, I just went lit yeah. literalism, copy the syntax. Okay, well, well I mean, I, I think yours was better, because I'm sure that mine, I just said Sileni, and left it up to the reader to look right. it up if they wanted to. If they want to look, stop this girly show, and let me consult my dictionary before getting off on the... I was worried about Minad. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's recognized by many people. No. Um, but... I mean, the Greek reference has to be there. And if you went uh, for Bacant, uh, Bacchus, of course, is Latin, is and we're in the world of Greece here, so that was also mixing it up. Yeah, but people would have recognized that a yes. bit better, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, and the one that I'm, I think I made, well, well, here's the difference Dionysus yeah. is definitely Dionysus, people would recognize yeah. that, so yeah, I'm so, okay yeah. with that. It's a thicket al cap, Catalan. Yes. You had in their head. Their heads full of. Bald Dionysius. Yeah, which I think is good. Because it's the smoke and the drink that goes to yeah. them. And they've got the yeah. god Dionysius on the brain. But, yeah, very nice. But I really did think out our cap at that he's at the head of them. Yes. And I think it allows for the two readings. Yes. No, no. I, I, I was impressed by that. And I thought, oh, God, that's, that's, yes, that sort of makes sense. As if there's some sort of... Well, you've got all the Greek guys around. Yes. He would be there the at the head of them, would he not? Yes. I don't know if there's a procession since so she's dancing in front of them, so we see them sort of yeah. sitting down somewhere. Well, he's the leader, as it were, of the group. But um, yours is not wrong and makes a lot of sense because he could be talking about the drug. I mean, this is like yeah. a drug. Yeah. Uh, okay, you know, um, that, that, I agree that that bit was, that was, took quite a lot of thinking about. Um, what, at the beginning, Okay. Oh, what, what, did, what did you reckon about that first line? Because you, you, you really did I, shift things around. I, I started literal as one usually does. Okay. And then? Um, and then change things, change things. And portentous, yes. And you can see, you know, 1940s strip shows are, yeah. are these big, well-built women, you know, mucho mujer and uh -huh. stuff. So yeah. potent and, and the painting is that as well. So yes, she is, yes. So portentous fits in. But La Traza. Yes. Is an engaño. You know, I had to have something there, the attraction and deception at the same time. And, okay, and so I because you, you sort of lost. Well, I, I, no, well, I, no, I was thinking more in terms of, uh, I was thinking more aesthetically, the trasa literally trace, drawing, line. So I was thinking in terms ah. of artistry. And so I love the line of beauty, of course, with my hidden reference to uh, William Hogarth there. Of course. Um, but by going down that line, no, but, but the, the whole, later, well, you have trasuda, that definitely means somebody who's got a talent for something. 
So, so you're sort of I, I, picking up on the sort of I read it negative as, view of as Trampa, yeah, and then I, well, I must admit, in my final revision of it, I started exploiting the doublon top. Yeah, but cunning, but cunning, cunning I mean, has a lot to say for itself. I think. I, no, hugely, hugely is sort of gets the idea of actually. I, I did, I did read it like it's hugely cunning. Yeah. Okay, but. Um, okay, well, all right. So, so you you were on a different level, of course, to me here, because I was just worrying about the word order. Something as boring as that. Uh, you know what? Because that word portentosa at the front of the sentence. I mean, it's a portentous word. It, it sounds is, is, portentous, and so I, I was, I think. I if I put it, begin with the subject and have it afterwards, this really wrecks it. The line of beauty is portentous. <clears throat> Doesn't do it for me. So I, I went for this 19th century reversal. Portentous is the line of beauty. Okay. Feeling a little bit uncomfortable about that, but it wasn't very 21st century, I thought. But still, enough to make us all go mad. The rhythm works nicely with that. And, um, mm -hmm. and it's the beauty that sends us mad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about um, the, uh, the bouquets? Yeah, what you, did you do? No, I, I had uh, brings bouquets tumbling down. Yeah, brings to ground. Yes, because the thing is, tira per terra. I mean, it, it means knocks it down, doesn't it? It sort well, of knocks it, it, it over be, so it falls on the ground. No, it calls to fall. I mean, yeah, technically yeah. it does. Tira, tira, but tira is to bring towards you. So yes. Tira? No, no, but tira per terra. Tira, okay. It means tira you come in, you get this book and you boom, and it falls on the ground because you're in a grump and you don't want to be given those flowers. Uh, I don't know because the bouquets are then on a par with honor and, and victory stuff. And also, so the, the bouquets would be thrown at the lady. Presumably, one would think. After her strategy. Yes, it all comes down, but including ourselves and. Um, all right, so bringing the bouquets tumbling down, mine was, that, that was the idea of her being rained with flowers after her performance. Okay, I didn't know, so brings to ground could work both ways. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll tell, yeah, yeah, tell you another one that I found uh, interesting was Selacius Atrevitz. What did you do with Selacia? Where is it? Uh, it's after the girly show, for instance, with a poem, this one. And even with, you had flourishing evening... Ah, evening skies. Oh, you just went for skies? Yeah, sure. What, what, what else is there? Well, I mean, cell. But Selaja, we're, we're, he, he's, you know... He's cell, definitely, is, cell is sky. Exactly. But yeah, Selaja right. is the same as Paisaccia. Yeah. In other words, it's, it's an aestheticized version of the sky. Sky yeah. as a painting. Sky, sky okay, if you like. I, you well, you, yeah, you see, I was hovering between skyscape and sky, and I thought, God, skyscape... I didn't find it in the dictionary, so I thought uh, well, maybe I'm inventing that. But I mean, surely Constable you painted can, you can John invent. Constable. Yes, I've heard painted him too. <laughs> yes, at Hogarth, actually. Yes, as well. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Skyscapes. Yes. Okay, so you would have been okay with skyscapes. I would have. It would have, have. Was it going to fit in though? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you well, have flourishing, like flourishing evening skies because you've got the clouds the doing their arabesques and things. Okay. Which sort of yeah. fits in with, with the, the girl woman, showing us off with um, yeah, yeah, yeah. silk strips yes. coming off. You know, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. So I, I, I stick with flourishing. I rather like that. Yeah. But, anyway. All right. And what about the uh, Miss Trasuda es la lechon? More cunning. I, I cunning. I kept the cunning and cunning. You know, you see, you had this, you had this sort of negative reading. I, I, I went for talented. Uh, what is it, Carlo? Uh, trasuda, Miss Trasuda. Yes, I mean, I'm still seeing the Trasa, Trasuda yeah. as, as. Tani Trasa. As. To have a. Uh, uh, attraction, mm -hmm. but also cunning. I mean, cunning yeah. got it for me, a skill that is devious and not to be trusted, and uh, ambiguous. And so you, you attributed the ugliness to her, yes. her ugliness. Yes, I, I took a bet there. It certainly helps make it, this it the poem more understandable, sense. that's for sure. Um, I think it's a very simple poem. There are tons, there's tons of this stuff, I don't know, from Baudelaire to Mallarmé. It's a, sort of a, a, a yeah. topic, a, yeah. a trope of, of the late 19th century, you know, the attraction yeah. for the woman who, who brings yes. it down. Uh, to that se in that sense, I thought it was... Okay, and, and, and so... And so but, but that's why I, I insisted on her having this ambiguity. Right, and so therefore the va aprender is her learning. Yes. And therefore, the Acesta C case Bonner is her. She's a, a good bit of. She's uh, a bit of all right. No, I think that was something that's coming up. Acesta C is Bonner. What did I say? And, and here's the rub. 
Yes, yeah, oh, very, yes. Very I like that Shakespeare. Shakespeare. I love this. Yes. yes. <laughs> Only, only. Well, also, referring to the so highest. Rob, I mean, oh, oh. Coming, Rob, I mean, didn't you get the. <laughs> all the. the oh, no, I didn't oak. get the frotter result. Well, you've you got to think about it. No, you're, very, you're more sensitive to But I was worried about, about the right eye. What's going on? Yeah. This guy's right eye. Yeah. Is, it, is this something well, we've missed here? Or, or I, I, I wasn't able to work that one out, so I just left it. I just did it straight and left it to the poor reader to work out. Okay. I mean, presumably the right eye, the left eye, you know, the left side sinister and all that side, the right side. Well, she's into why she, okay, she's disturbing the... His, his correctness. All right, okay, um, so right works the same way as right. And, and what was your translation for Etan? To the hilt. <laughs> <laughs> So running we've got with rubbing. The, the running thematics. I mean, <laughs> yes, okay, yes. okay, but there are these asides, right? This is yeah. a text of yes. these little uh, colloquial asides, yes. which allows for free invention. So yes. I thought I might as well stick with the <laughs> thematics of the thing. <laughs> yeah. but now, now, I don't know whether I'm what interested. Did you put them, anyway? No, I just said, oh, so true. <sighs> I had not half, but I thought that was a little bit. Oh, cold. that's it. Well, not half would go would fit would, in would fit in more the ambiente of somebody. Oh, I think you could sort of see a cockney Garamoff girl, girly Garamoff. show. Yeah, get your ear off. No, oh, she's been all right. <laughs> and so I think I made a real mistake here with Anye. And so you put a ring. ring. No, it's chaste as a lamb. Yes, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh God, one for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You sure about that? No. Well, it is. <laughs> well, I don't know. Hang on. Hang on. We all do. Okay, well, we, we need to check that. I, I, I probably, I went through quickly. I didn't check everything. Yeah. No, I mean, because being chased as a lamp course, is very nice. Um, well, it's biblical. It biblical, sort of doesn't yes. fit in with yes. the Greek thing. You bring, so. bring a bit of morality into this oh, fairly yeah. immoral scene. Called Agne. Yes, the Lamb of God. I might have been thinking I, I knew your A N Y E double L. Yeah. From Latin. Shy. Lamb, yes, chai. Shy. Gotcha. Lamb, Lamb that is one, less than one euro. What? We have a photo. One for yeah. me. Yeah, no, that's definitely one for you. Oh, God. Okay, okay, that's not a, quite a knockout. Well, no, actually, well, is but a knockout. I mean, no, it was a minor thing, but anyway, it was light and pure, and, and uh, light yes, being pure and, and yeah. the lamb being chased. These are all biblical yeah. uh, references, I think. So, yeah, can't do these things in a hurry. Okay, okay what about the angels' faces? Isn't there a whole yes, film? Yes, there is. Jimmy really? Cagney, very oh, good. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, what about um, the demag- demagogia? You, demagogia. You, you went for demagogy. Yes. Is that a word that trips off your lip it in fit normal it. conversation? Yeah, absolutely. We talk about the demagogy of department directors, for example, all the time. Do you? No. Oh, <laughs> not to his face. <laughs> no, one could, though. A nexus of complicities, it's demagogy imposes. Oh, nexus. Us. All right. Um, well, these are all Greek words again, you see. Mm. Nexus, demagogy, panacea, and then the, the, the Greek gods come in. So I, I didn't feel bad about keeping it there. All right, that's good. I, I, I don't know, it's a sort of word that slightly uh, puts me off. So what, I, what did you put? Rabble-rousing, which is also, nah, populism was another possibility. Presenting itself as a patent... No, I, I, I don't think it's rabble-rousing, because she's... No, no. Rabble-rousing is it, rising it's, mass. Yes, it's, it's more of a sort of political... The demo, demagogy is in the, the leader, the figure yeah. everybody focused on. So yeah. she has become this, this yeah. surrogate leader of the people, right. which is what she does for an instant. But what about as far paten como una panacea? Imposes itself. Okay. Manifests itself. Presents itself as a patent panacea. Nice alliteration. And, and I mean, I'm obviously moving patent into a new meaning, but to do with, you know, selling things. Oh. Okay. And, uh, and then the rest of it, uh, basically, well, you, you didn't. It's repetition. It's I repetition. Repeated. Did you repeat word for word? I did, because I think it's meant to. Yeah. Meant to. It doesn't understand the ambiguity. I it, did work a lot to get the rhythm at the end, who, with audacious Dionysus at the head, undresses to a rhythmic beat. But you sacrificed sort of, the music. I don't know, because I was working for half rhymes as well. I don't know, drink, beat, no. Doing that's a half round. No, I guess not, but anyway. Satis and four to smoke and drink with audacious Dionysus at the head, undresses mm. to a rhythmic beat. Yes, yes. No, 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 you've got the beat there, Adam. Who gradually strips in time. I, I should have been, a, yeah. 
Yeah, you should have been a stripper. No, I should have worked it so I'd had that. that <laughs> <laughs> I'll be ready, right to, boom, are we boom, ready boom, to see boom, boom, what boom. Lorenzo has to say? What did he say, Larry? Would you like to read it? Uh, I did last time, so it's your turn today. So I'm looking at. I mean, it, it's got some traps. Yeah. And it's got some things we don't know, or it can go both ways. So let's see what he does. Yeah. Girlie Show, 1941. Oh, nice. Shakespeare. Okay. Wondrous strange is the skill that possesses the beauty to drive us out of our minds. It makes us lose composure, interferes with our getaway to the South Seas, flings down sprays of flowers, honor and the Tractatus Logico Philosophicus, and plays havoc with the unfolding of the daily program of activities. It happens with a painting, girly show, for instance. With a poem, the present one. With bold mottled clouds in the evening sky. Or with a young red-head votress, who, before a gaggle of centaurs, satyrs and fawns, smoking and drinking, their mind set on daring Dionysus, is dancing a striptease in time to a band. Yet more ingenious still is ugliness. Since it came to learn, a boon to itself, how to enter directly through our eye, transfigured into filigree, adorned with breastpins and silk laces, or disguised in the symbology and decorum of beauty. Indeed, it is gloom made to pass for light as chaste as a lamb. It is downright vulgarity binding us to each other by a nexus of complicities. It is demagoguery presenting itself as panacea. It is the rat that wears the face of an angel. Can it be the young red-head votress who, before a gaggle of centaurs, satyrs and fawns, smoking and drinking, their minds set on daring Dionysus, is dancing a striptease in time to abound? Hmm. Well, I think that's pretty good. I think Dret is good. Dret? Ooh, he, he, he said straight into your eye. Right. Dret can be straight. Mm hmm. Hold well, on. It's just a little point, it's not a major thing. But hang on, hang on. Where was that bit there? Uh. Where is the right eye? Uh, en, entranos pelul dret, transfigurada. Mm. Entranos pelul. So he's taking dret as an adverb? Yes. And we read it as an adjective. Hmm. Okay, that's worth finding out whether that's uh, um, the common version. But it, it certainly it, 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 it solves the problem about the yeah, right eye. Yeah, no that, reason that good. to be the right eye. So well done, Larry. That's the yeah. one for you. Yes, yes. I also thought that. Um, what did he have? Uh, the, the getaway to the um, yeah, getaway is nice. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, creates havoc for Petrova. That's good because yeah. Petrova is stronger than disturb. What did I have? There? I, I had disturbed. Interferes in. Oh yeah, yeah. no, okay, no. Interferish is the original. Is yeah, inter okay, so I was just close to the text. So. so those are nice. I don't know why sprays of flowers are there, but anyway. Well, spray, it's a sort of thing that you yeah, have to feel, isn't it? Yeah, but a spray of flowers is a little thing, you know, you do, like at a wedding, isn't it? It's, yeah. It's, it, it decorates the church. And stuff. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. Um, yes. Uh, uh, what did, what did, oh, votress he had. Yeah. So he avoided, um, he avoided um, using a Greek word. Do there. people know what votress means? Well, if they are familiar with A Midsummer Night's Dream. Well, are they? <laughs> Have they attended they will, your course, John? <laughs> they will know <laughs> that uh, Titania has her votresses. Um, All right, so if we've started, no, no, we did, we did start off with Wondrous right. Strange, which is... Yes, it, that, yes, yes, yes. Course, yes so. Well, I mean, you and he have Shakespeare in common, of course. Who, uh, who's he? Lor Larry yeah. and you, both uh, calling on Hamlet in yes. moments of, of um, need. inspiration. <laughs> yes. And, and also he had centaurs, satyrs, so he... he yeah, that's good. That's a good solution too, I think. Okay, but I'm not sure whether, I'm not sure whether, as far as I could make out from Greek mythology... Uh, no, I, I, I tried they're not centaurs there. No. 
Actually, centaurs are sort of big things, aren't they? They're, well, it's, it's, they be it's hanging body, around a complete to body of a horse with the body yeah. of a man on top. So, Whereas uh, the satyrs, they sort of just got a few details of horses, like hooves and tails and ears. I was sort of happy with woodland gods. Yes. Now, what's, where is Dionysus here? I think yours. No, very good. You've got daring Dionysus. Dionysius. Oh, Dionysus. Okay. Well, I don't know. I, I checked if there are two pronunciations. Yeah, daring is good. Yes. He's got a nice but little illustration. Their mind set on. Um, he's going with your reading rather than mine. Well, exactly. But I mean, their minds aren't set on. Their minds are set on this, this, this dancing girl. My idea was that they were drunk, so their head's full of... I'd like that, and I think that it's smoke and drink. I mean, I mean hot, having your head another full of something is, 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 so, so, suggests a level of unconsciousness, whereas if it's set on, it suggests more of a conscious decision. Okay, I like that. I, like, I, I would quibble here because their minds set on suggests that they are... Consciously focused. Focused on something other than the, the striptease. Th there's this bit and the band? Where the band comes oh, from? Oh, instead of music. No, oh, come on. He went for a rhythmic beat. So, I mean, yeah, we were all being... Uh, we, yeah, we are. Except some of us who were said to use the word music. And, and he does get the lamb. Yes. What's this? The boon business. I don't know. Here. Yeah. Here's the rope. A boon in itself. Uh, a kesta si kes A kesta si es bona. But I mean, I, the way I hear Catalan, so yeah, this is, I'm going to tell you a joke. Yeah, yes, the secret is Yeah, this is what, what you're going to come with. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. All right, this is a good one. You'll like this one. Oh, You'll like this one. Well, okay, but I, uh, the boon in itself, I don't know if it's just Bonner boon. He's, he's getting yeah. some literalism inspiration okay. there, but it doesn't. I found that the boon in itself, and the indeed hmm. for the other interjection. Yeah. To be overly e ten, overly uh, literary. Yeah, written. no, because because they are quite. I mean, there's very colloquial expressions. Yeah, like it's 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 an aside, so moving from yeah. the classical to the colloquial, in keeping with the whole book actually, which does this brooch breast pin. Well, not bad. Uh, this is thinking, breast. thinking about the picture. I, I don't know whether you think that that woman has got something covering her breasts, even if it's actually only. I think there are silk small. silk things. Little, little, yeah. Yeah. But there's no tassels or anything like that. No, no pasties or stuff. <laughs> uh, breast pins. Um, breast pins are go up here, don't they? Like, okay, what breast pin? Oh, on a pin. A pin a thing on, on your, your um, uh, yeah, on your jacket. What up here? Down there. there. A lapel. A breast pin there. Oh, okay. But he would want something. I mean. Mm. Yes, okay, but breast pin's better, because, I mean, if he actually is referring to the picture and the girl, I mean, she obviously, as she's naked virtually, she can't wear a brooch. Which well, she can't wear a breast pin, can she? Well, well she it's, a bit, a, it's a bit painful. These breast, no, breast pins are up here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I stuck with brooch, because it sounds like bosom. Yeah. And <laughs> sure. <laughs> but I got you titillating. But it's also oh, my mum would have brooches. It's yes. old. Yes. Yeah. No, forties. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about the oh and demagoguery he had? Yes. Uh, spelled differently actually. You had demagogy. He had demagoguery. Yes. Is it, are there two different things? Well, okay. you have a demagogue, and what does he do? He does demagoguery. All right. Presenting itself as a panacea. Okay. Yeah. And. The angels. The rat that wears the face of an angel, but missed, missed the film reference. Yeah. Mm. Although, I tell you, if you look at the picture, the, I mean, Hopper, in my opinion, was never too great um, painting the human body, but the face really does look like it's either not done very well, it's a very sort really? of ratty looking okay. face. Okay, I, I actually. couldn't get a good image of it. Oh. Okay. Gaggle of centaurs is Gaggle. gratuitous. I mean, gaggle of geese. Yeah. Um, I, I really saw these guys being stoned out of their mind looking at this yeah. this woman dancing um, in silence and, and not moving. Yeah. A gaggle suggests the, quite the opposite. Uh, so I, I suggests noise too, doesn't it? Which, okay, gaggle would be okay, but, but a gaggle of geese is not... I, I don't think geese is... I mean... <laughs> Yeah. Isn't it a gaggle of geese? Yeah, it is, absolutely. No, no, no. And, and I, I mean, going from geese to centaurs, it's the sort of... The, Quite a bit of a bit of a. I mean, because gaggle also is a, a, a sort of noisy, metaphor, noisy yeah. group of people, if it were. Okay. But centaurs are not famous for I don't know. Being and that was about it.